Hey guys, what is going on? This is Mr. Daddy Matt, and today we are back on Minecraft with another house build. This one is a a kind of luxurious manor house, and it is quite big, and it is really Victorian inside and modern on the outside. So let's go ahead and take a look of the outside. There it is there. Lovely windows on the outside here, and that's the entrance right there, looking really nice. We got a nice flat grey roof. I like flat roofs. I don't like, um, you know, normal house roofs. Flat roofs are my favourite. And uh, once again, we're going to go on through around here. And that is on the outside right there. So that is the outside, guys, right around here on this property. And uh, down here, we'll get to that place in a moment. So without further ado, let's get into this place. This is a Victorian-style interior. We've got lovely blue and white tiles at the opening here where you walk on through. You put your shoes on here. And it's kind of like a walkway you go on in. In here is like the uh, living area where you get to sit next to the fire, read some books. So it's very Victorian. There's no TV or anything. We've got some skull ornaments up there. Uh, from a tr their travels or probably on mythical quests on the game so they acquired that in different ways we got books plenty of books because that's all they used to read in them days and write letters we've got a lovely uh sitting down quarters i forgot what they call it now i can't think of the name for it my mind's gone blank but we have lots of books in here and you just uh sit and read I think it's the study study room. I think, yeah, this is what it is. It's the study room. And uh, you get to sit in here, read books, and uh, sit down. I really like the redness on the floor, the red flooring, the red walls. It just really does feel like a cozy spot to sit and read. Next, we have the kitchen. So we have uh, lovely tiles here on the floor in the kitchen. Plenty of ovens and work surfaces because this is a big family. And uh, we have a table and chairs right here for them to eat food on. And uh, we have a lovely bookshelf in here with recipe books and stuff. So this is like the kitchen. It's a big kitchen, spacious as well to work in. As you would need a lot of space to uh, prep food and stuff. But this is the study room. Living quarters right here. And I uh, hope you guys like this. We have a lovely fire. And you can sit here and watch the fire crackle. Which is really nice. And uh, lovely lights on here with green walls. Surrounded with a green carpet. Another sofa here. A shelving with the skulls. A shelving over here. You can put stuff on. Plenty of torches. I like the room up. No ele modern electric lights. As you can see. It's all torches lighting it up. So that is the inside of the house guys. You may notice there's not a bedroom. We're going to get to that right now. Now I wanted to make it different in this property. Uh, to have a bedroom. So let's go on down here the bedroom is kind of underground down here i feel safer living under here and uh, here is we got like a wooden floor we got shelving a skull there uh two bookshelves with torches on it another skull there with a chest of drawers and this is where we sleep down here i feel really safe and cozy under here and uh, i really do like it. it's nice and small you don't need a lot as well down here because everything's upstairs so i hope you guys like this little room down here that i stay in and uh, it feels really cozy and safe it is deep underground as well so if anything happens above ground you are safe underground which is what i really like so i hope you guys like this house modern on the outside victorian on the inside really old and uh once again let's go through we got the walkway here lovely playing open area with uh, lovely colored tiles and a nice wooden frame across there we also have a lovely green room here and once again you can sit down and relax next to the fire now you've got the study room once again the study room is my favorite of the house the actual house is my favorite the study room really nice and cozy and then we got the kitchen so that is very basic guys very open windowed and uh a lots of windows going through to also let the light through but let me know what you think of the comment section below of this property i like making different style properties and this one is really nice because it is very old and vintage on the inside and modern on the outside so once again thank you for watching and thanks for your support this is my build i call it the modern luxury um 
manor house, I would like to call it, and uh, I'll name it, probably name it that, and I'll, if not, I'll think of something else, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video, let me know what you think of this build in the comment section below, thumbs up and subscribe to the channel, and as always guys, I will catch you guys next time, this is Matt, happy gaming, peace.